Hi, I'm Noah, and today we're going to show you how to remove your Internet Explorer browser from Windows XP. Because of the security threats and the slower browsing speed that you encounter with Internet Explorer, a lot of people choose to use Mozilla Firefox or other third-party web browsers instead because they offer enhanced security due to their lower use by the general public and often faster browsing speeds. So if you're using one of these other browsers as well, and I have absolutely no use for Internet Explorer left on your computer, then why not remove it? You can remove it very simply by following these few steps. Left click once on the Start button on the far left hand bottom of your computer screen. This will cause a menu to pop up on your screen. Navigate to the menu choices on the right hand side of the pop-up window, and left click once on Control Panel. A new window will pop up on your computer screen when you do this, and the Start menu will close. Look on the far left hand side of the window that has popped up and click on Switch to Classic View if your window is not already in Classic View. This switches the options in the window to icons and makes the next step easier. Find the Add or Remove Programs icon of a computer disk in front of an open box and left click on it once. This will make the Add or Remove Programs box open up and you'll have to wait for a few seconds while it populates the box with different programs that can be removed from your computer. Use your mouse to left click once on the Add or Move Windows Components feature on the left hand side of the Add or Move Programs box. This opens a tinier window that will have options of Windows components that you can delete from your computer. Click the box next to Internet Explorer and make sure that all the other boxes are unchecked and then click on the next button at the bottom of the window. Wait while your computer goes through the process of removing Internet Explorer from Windows XP. Sometimes your computer may give you a box that lets you restart your computer automatically. If it does not, then you will have to reboot the computer yourself to truly uninstall Internet Explorer.